Hello everyone to this episode of Proactive Show. My name is Michael. I'm your host. And today I want to talk to you about iOS 8. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying always, always uh, to talk about very, very practical stuff. And today I'm going to talk about iOS 8 because it's going to be very practical for you and for everyone who's on an iOS platform. If you're Android, you know, it's a, it's a different discussion. Uh, some of the features that, that we'll talk about you already have on Android. Now they're coming on, I, uh, on the iOS platform. What I'm saying is, you know, apps on the iOS platform right now with iOS 8 can do lots of more things. So first of all, uh, the apps will be able to talk to each other through extensions and through um, uh, share sheets and, and you will be able, to, uh, be able to access your favorite apps also in the notification center dashboard. So what it means is that you'll be more productive. So uh, let me give you an example. Right now, if I'm in Safari browser uh, and you know, I, I want to log in like to, to some application, let's, call, let's, let's try to log into um, Nosby. I'll have to manually insert the password and log in. But the thing is that I use one password application. So thanks to one password application and the extension of the one password application, I will be able to log into um, Nosby directly from Safari using one password. I'm already logged into Nosby application, let's say uh, to our native application. The cool thing is that, for example, the my priority list here, my priority tasks, uh, will be will be available also in the, you know, um, in the notification widget. Which is really amazing. I mean, I'll be able to shut down the iPad and then with Notification Center, I'm able to access my tasks. So this is really cool. I can access my tasks without actually logging in to my iPad. The other thing is, of course, the share sheet. So if I'm, again, on a website in Safari, I can tap to share. And now I have, I, I usually had always had these options like message, mail, Twitter, Facebook, but now I can go to more, choose Nosby out of the options here, and then done, and I can add a task to Nosby. So I can add the task to Nosby, I mean this website actually, which is really, really amazing. and. This way, I can add anything, any object from any application uh, to Nosby uh, as a task, and this object, you know, this website or, or you know, whatever you share, will become an attachment or I mean a comment to this task in Nosby. What I want to say in this show is, for me, this is really amazing. Really, this is I've been I've been waiting for this for a long time. Uh, we've been complaining about it, you know. People have been, you know. Um, going around it, like you could have a bookmarklet of Nosby, or you could have, for example, you could send email, you know, as a, as an attachment, and then you, through email you would add it to Nosby. Now it's natively supported, and I mean the widget. I mean, don't get me started on this. I mean, I can access my tasks without um, going into the iPhone, and I can have the priority tasks over there. I can know instantly what my priorities are, what my next actions are, what my next next steps are, which is fundamental for productivity. So, uh, the Nosby integration with iOS 8 and other apps like 1Password and other apps that you're going to use with iOS 8, these are amazing, amazing um, features uh, of iOS 8. So the iOS 8 is bringing, I'm sure, lots of cool features, but mostly the, it, it empowers finally developers to really, just like us, just like Nosby, to really do something fundamental, to do something really cool, to talk to other apps, to use other apps to get stuff done. So I'm sure in the months to come, it will be more. We will try to introduce also more features, more iOS 8 features. Now, I'm looking forward to the next months uh, of developing stuff for, for iOS 8. And uh, now that iOS 8 is coming, I'm sure uh, you'll enjoy it a lot. And um, I hope uh, you'll also enjoy the, our new uh, NOS B2O applications uh, for the iPhone, iPad, and also for other platforms. Mm, and um, especially the advantage of these kind of um, widgets, notifications, share sheets, extensions, you know, working together with other apps, get, helping you get more stuff done. So uh, if you have any questions, you know, comments about it, do you have any other, app, other apps in iOS 8 which you use with this? Let me know in the comments below. I'm, I'm looking forward to testing uh, some of these apps. As you know, I work mostly on my uh, iPad 
and, uh, and my iPhone. So I'm, I'm really curious to know all these apps and all these tips. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much. It was Michael, Productive Show. Bye-bye.